Alrighty then, so we have done some work here. We have done the left form that we're going to be using to add the categories. We have added the table. Now it's time for us to be displaying some data here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. But actually, before we do that, I noticed that we are getting kind of cluttered here. We have a lot of files going on here. And what we want to do is rename some of this so that way we don't get confused about them. Right here, that footer, the header of navigation here have um, the same name as the one in admin. See that? So let's go ahead and click over them. I'm going to click one time. I'm going to say admin underscore footer. I'm just going to rename them to admin to have that prefix in the beginning of the word. Let's do another one. Admin navigation. So I'm renaming footer, header, and actually this is the... Let's just back up a little bit here. This is the header and I rename it to just there we go enter actually that was the this is the footer and this is the header if I can save it right now my all right this is actually the header but it's not saving for me so when that happens to you all you gotta do is just close your brackets quit it and then reopen it all right so I'm gonna check on my header uh, is fine footer all right so what we need to do is come back to index here and we're gonna rename I already did this ahead of time but you're gonna have something like this in the index make sure that you do this admin header and you make sure that you have admin navigation I already did this by the way before I made this video here just make sure that you do have that and make sure that you do have all these prefixes on the on, on all this includes make sure you also have it on that on categories uh, here we, I don't have them so I'm gonna make them because we are including these files from there but we have a prefix on them now so let's just do the footer also so all right so let's just check to see if we broke anything all right, everything is good. Let's go ahead and display some data really quick before our time is over on this lecture. All right, so we are in categories, and I want to display some data right here. I want to put a while loop, but I need some PHP tags, right? Actually, we do have some code that we can use already, so we don't have to write everything. Let's go to sidebar. Let's copy some of this thing down already. I need to copy the query. So categories.php, I'm going to put it right here, organize it a little bit using the command left bracket, and let's go to sidebar and let's get a while loop. Why not? Let's get it with all the PHP tags. All right, we have to be lazy when it comes to this. All right, we can't just be writing everything. We need time is very important and we need it. So I'm put a while loop right here and I'm going to organize it a little bit all right so we have a query here I'm just gonna rename this to select categories that's it and copy this and change it right here remember that on the while loop all right perfect so what else what else we need well we're bringing in the ID so right now this is just bringing in the title let's bring in the ID and Let's call this cat ID. Then we call this cat ID. This is the field in the database, in the table right here. This is the name of the data. I'm not making this up. I can make any name up for this, for the variable, but for the key inside the database, I cannot for the uh, for that column. Okay? So that's the ID column. That's, that's what we name it in the database. Now here, we're not going to be using list items or... Uh, anchor tags we're gonna be using the TV right here so I'm gonna put that right here take this text out of there and put this instead right there I'm gonna do this copy this again here because I don't want to keep writing this stuff down and I'm just gonna say cat ID there all right 
so now we're bringing in the values from the inside the database and we are displaying it right here in a TD let's take this out of here all right so let's just bring this up a little bit all right perfect so I think everything is good here let's see how that looks refresh all right so we're bringing in some values here but they are uh, not looking really good so the values are here the IDs are here let's and the titles but let's just go ahead and organize this a little bit and I think I know what it is is that we are missing a TR here actually we need to put it inside the loop since we are going around a couple of times we need a couple of them so let's echo a TR there tag and let's do another one in the bottom there How about that I think this is gonna organize it really cool and let's see how that looks refresh perfect all right so we were able to bring some data from our database as you can see right here we have the ID of each of the categories and we have the category titles perfect all right so we are done with this the great thing is that it looks really good as you can see we haven't done any CSS styling or anything like that this framework is doing everything for us and I'm glad that we have something like this available and I do have a course on it just to let you know but all right, so we're, it's coming together in the next lecture. We will be continuing doing some more work on this. All right, so see you in the next lecture. Take care.